Hey everybody, it's Dave Miller with Gripping Golf Podcast here from the workshop again. Um, today we're going to be removing the shaft from a bonded club, um, not one with an adapter tip on it, um, but one where the shaft is glued straight into the hosel. So um, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Um, if you like it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content just like it. Um, any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. We're about to shoot a shot. Okay, we're going to start with our short tool list here. We've got a wet towel, we've got the heat gun, we got the drill with the epoxy cleaning brush, and our golf club shaft extractor. Today's victim is going to be a Sim 2 Max 3 wood. Um, first thing we need to do is get that ferrule off of there. So to remove this ferrule, I'm just going to use the heat gun and my utility blade here. Um, just going to heat it up. It is plastic. Once you see it start to melt a little bit, use the utility knife to cut it and pull it off of there. So pretty simple process. Just got it melting a little bit there. We're going to carefully slide the blade and give it a quick twist and pull it apart there. And the rest of it, I'm going to try to pry off. Probably going to require a little bit more heat, um, but that's pretty much it as far as getting that pulled off. Okay, so I've got the club set up in my golf club extractor. Um, the shaft again is in the vise, but not too tight. This little adapter piece here is going to allow me to put in there something that will give me leverage to push against that hosel to get the club head removed. We'll get that tightened up. The last step before I start applying heat is my wet towel. This is a carbon fiber club head, um, so we want to make sure that it doesn't get damaged from the heat, and that's where this wet towel is going to come in handy. So I'm going to get that covering up everything but the hosel, so that way um, we don't warp anything or melt anything. So let me finish getting this set up. We'll apply some heat and get that club head pulled off. All right, here we go with the heat. Job done. Final thing I did off camera was just clean out the hosel with my hosel cleaning brush. But uh, other than that, the club is ready for a new shaft to be installed into it, ready to go. Hope you guys found today's video useful. Um, if you did, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we got plenty more content coming your way from my workshop, product reviews, what's in the bag, all kinds of cool stuff coming on top of that. Um, Definitely make sure you are getting the videos as we're posting them. So uh, like, subscribe, comment below, and thanks for all your support. Talk to you soon.